Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGM007, and today we're looking at the Dispensables plugin. So, this is a really useful plugin which allows you to easily control what items are allowed out of a hopper, dropper, or dispenser. Now, you can either do this via command or via the very useful GUI, and we're going to show you how to use it in game and then in the config file. So over here I have a dispenser and it has some stone inside. Now if I were to use uh, this lever, you would expect the stone to be thrown out. Now it doesn't get thrown out because it's not on the white list. So you can either have a white list or a black list of certain items that either are or aren't allowed to be used with one of these three. So if I were to put, for example, a trap chest in here, that would fire out. You can see it's down there. The same thing is the case for TNT. If I get rid of the trap chest, you'll see TNT gets launched out, and there it is. And that is because I've added TNT to the whitelist. So if we do the forward slash dispensables command, you can see there's a few different commands we can do. So you can use the GUI, which I would highly recommend, or you can use the dispenser command and you can add an item that way. So if you want to do full slash dispenser add glass, that would add glass to the whitelist and allow glass to be thrown out of the dispenser. You could do the same for stone, etc. And then you can use that to remove items as well. So you could do the same for dropper. If you wanted to, you can turn the whitelist on or off. If the whitelist is off, that means you have a blacklist and any item listed will not be allowed to be thrown out. Um, and then you can also add named items as well, which is why I've got name tags. So if we do forward slash dispensables GY, you can see we have the three different types here and they are all enabled. You can just click these to disable them if you want, uh, but let's click dispensers. Now here we've got the material list and the name list. So the name list is currently off, which means it acts as a blacklist. So any name in here, such as test or two, um, will not be allowed to be fired out of the dispenser. If we go back into it, back to our material list, because this is on, this is a white list, so only things in here are allowed to be thrown out. And you can see we have TNT, trap chest, and glass, which I just added. So what we could do um, is either get a piece of stone here, and then repeat the command into the GUI, and then just pop in here, materials list, just throw the stone in, and then we now have 63 stone, and we can flick this a few times, and you can see tons of stone is being thrown out because it's now on the whitelist. And that's effectively how it works. So you can repeat this for obviously droppers and hoppers as well um, to control what is allowed in and out of both of those to prevent you know, exploits on your server or people using it, TNT to grief, etc. Um, so it's a very handy command. Now obviously you can do the dispensables uh, reload if you change something in the config file. Uh, which is where we are going to head now. So here we are in the SMPNIC control panel and as you can see there is a single config.yml. Now in here it's effectively going to be the same stuff we saw in game, so do you want dispensers enabled, whitelist mode true or false. Here are the items that we added to the list via GUI or via command. And then names, do we want this enabled yes or no. And then we have the dispense items, so these are the names of it. Um, this one is here by default and then I added these two and you could obviously repeat that for droppers and hoppers as well so it's a very simple plugin but it works really well I like the GUI and the commands and obviously the config you can change it in there as well but here we are on the spigot page and you can see it's updated for 1.18 so you can download it for free over here and if you need any help there's a couple of gif tutorials here and here's all the commands and if you do have any trouble or suggestions, feel free to contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.